Hello guys, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix FaceTime icon is grayed out for your uh, contact on your iPhone and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into this. So right now, when you're trying to make any contacts to any one of your friend or someone, whoever it is, whenever you're trying to make your contact, you'll be getting an option. The FaceTime will be completely grayed out. If that is the case, we're going to talk about how we can fix this app. This is happening for many of the users. So we're going to talk about some of the possible workaround. The first one is all about you have to make sure that you're having the phone number and email on the respective contact list. For example, let me select this particular one. So if I'm selecting anything, for example, let me search for any random number. For example, this particular one. The first thing what I need to make sure is I need to make sure I'm having a phone number over here as well as there should be an email ID as well. So even I'm showing with one of with my friends. So let me select this one. So here it is particular number and also an email should be saved as well so that the contact is like a general one and once after it is there if it's not there you have to make sure the number is correct and also the email id is there as well so this is what you have to do as the first step so you have to cross check that you are given uh, the correct details are there on the call then only you'll be able to do this the facetime or else you'll be having the trouble with the facetime which one is all about we have to delete and we have to recreate it for example you are having an issue with any particular contact then you can just move to the respective contact you can delete the respective contact and after you successfully deleted it you can delete this respectively once you have to make sure that you have copied this particular number to somewhere else once afterwards create a contact over here just go over here and you can tap on and you can create a new contact give the respective number give the respective uh, name as well everything should be given and once afterwards you have to cross check and this is also did work it for many users you can try this out as well third step is all about what we need to do is we just need to do a restart i mean you have to do a reset on the network settings so just go over here in the settings keep scrolling down and navigate to general keep scrolling down and navigate to transfer or reset iphone tap on reset go for a reset network settings which is very important and once you're done with the reset network settings you have to see whether the issue is solved fourth step is nothing but we have to make sure the date time and time zone is correct so just tap over here in the settings now keep scrolling down and navigate to general go for date and time make sure the time and time zone is correct which is very important so you have to make sure the time zone is correct for according to your according to your geography and once you make sure both these things are correct you can move to the fifth step fifth step is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to navigate to the screen time tap on the settings now from here navigate to screen time now from here we have to navigate to okay uh, we have to navigate to screen time and now from here we have to navigate to content and privacy restrictions make sure if this is turn it on we have to turn this off this is very important we have to turn this off once you turn this off we have to check whether the issue is solved or not last and the least step is all about we have to make sure that you have to do here from the text itself just keep scrolling down and navigate to facetime so over here the facetime just turn this off now you just need to wait and turn this on and afterwards it will be like giving a fresh start on the facetime and once afterwards you have to move to the last step that is all about we have to least i mean you have to update your system just tap over here in the settings now from here crawl to general now from here go to software update just update the software to the latest version and once afterwards is it is on ios 17.1.2 which is latestly available so i have to update you the latest version and these are the possible workarounds can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye